Oh, say does that star spangled banner and wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Woo. Thank you. We gather here this day in gratitude, in love, in appreciation for our very own Tommy, L.A. Sorda. Tommy, we are honored to be standing here on the mound, a mound that you visited many, many times, a diamond that served as your table of sharing with the men and women you loved so much. A mound and home plate where you had special encounters, we know, with the umpires. A mound where your heart rested and where you are resting with us at this time. The impact, the loyalty, the love, the passion which he did everything, I mean, it's second to none. I'm going to miss him. We're all going to miss him. But I will say this. He had a heck of a run. He had a heck of a run. And you know what? He, I was with him for the sixth game. Warren took us out. He saw the Dodgers win it all. He didn't do well in the hospital, was able to visit him. But you know what? One thing kept him going. He was going to get home to see Joe. Because as great as Tommy was, Joe <clears throat> was his backbone. And I thank Joe and Laura and Emily Tess for sharing Tommy with us. He was like a second father to me. He, he, he impacted my life more than any other male than my father. Tommy was our guiding light. All us players that are here today have stories like that. He made you better than what you were, especially on the field, but not only on the field, after the field, after this, you played baseball. He made me successful in life because he taught me how it was to go out there, get involved in the community, talk to people, be motivated, be positive, and work hard.